are welcome back to our channel this beautiful sunday evening on this episode of sundays with the love the spencer yeah yeah you know i'm always happy to be here really i'm always happy to talk i'm always happy to get our feedbacks i'm always happy to read our comments and just know that someone out there is always watching us and listening to us ah oh my god thank you so much for staying thank you so much for staying with us and if this is your first time you are very much welcome drum rolls <laughs> you are welcome just subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our beautiful episodes so today we are going to be talking about something very important on this series you know we are still on the series of um what every young couple must know and uh, most of our topics under this series are something that as a single um waiting sister waiting brother you can also learn you know it's it's beautiful when you know something before you get into it you get so you not dissipate um so much energy trying to learn on the job learning on the job has never been an easy thing you get so the time you would have used to learn other things you're using it to learn things that you should have known by that time so as a waiting sister waiting lady waiting gentleman this is also for you you can get this knowledge no knowledge is a waste as they say so today we are going to be talking about how to deal with the choleric spouse the spouse here i mean is a husband uh, or a fiance so we have four different four major temperaments four major temperaments according to hypocrites he separated it into four four major temperaments and um we have the sanguine, we have the choleric, we have the melancholy, and we have the phlegmatic. In as much as we have things like sand mel, that sanguine, melancholy, you know, all those things. So, and also a research shows that in everybody there is a bit of the four temperament, but there are some that are higher or manifest more than the others. Okay, so we are talking about the choleric. So the choleric, briefly, the choleric is on the extra vatish end. That that means the choleric is someone who talk is outspoken like the sanguine, but not as outspoken as the sanguine. Is someone that is termed a strict person. You know, there are so many things about the choleric uh, temperament that we hear, which that are not so true do you get and there uh, as there is there's a saying that goes that every mad person has a friend so first of all cholerics are not bad people that's what i want to establish so you you i've heard some people say i, I can't get married to a choleric spouse I, I am choleric okay i'm a bit of a sanguine and a choleric person so um i'm not a bad person okay i'm not a bad person how to deal with the choleric spouse husband and fiance so i'm going to just be um, pointing out three points so firstly cholerics are spontaneous people okay so a choleric can do so many things at the same time without letting you know so as a spouse what you need to do instead of nagging instead of talking instead of saying hey you didn't tell me you didn't tell me get into his head what did i say get into his head get into his head because uh, um the choleric we are talking about is a man and the men don't really they are not very expressive some they are not very expressive if we are talking about the choleric woman is a different case okay so choleric men are not very expressive so the choleric attitude one of the attributes of a choleric is that he doesn't or he or she does not give details they just come put Okay, I'm getting this, I'm getting this. There's no time, unlike the sanguine, I'll say, ah, I'm getting this one. The color is brown. I have got it for so-so place. I want to use it for so-so and so-so thing. And this is how, for how long I want to use it. So, know this as a lady, that first of all, men are not expressive. So, if you are dating or you are married to a choleric man, you need to get into his head. You need to know what he is thinking. And also, getting married to a choleric means that you're on the introvertish end, of course. And we know the weakness of introverts. They don't talk. They're, they're just there. So the sanguines and the cholerics are the ones that ah, we are talking and talking and talking and doing this and doing. We are active. We are doing everything we want to do. But the introvert, they are just watching. Okay, they love to listen. But now, as a choleric, as a melancholy wife or phlegmatic wife, you need to get into his head. You get. You need to come out of that. Um, 
quiet mode and get into his head what do i mean by get into his head ask him questions ask him questions what do you want to do do you have a plan in mind because really a choleric can just step out and get a house and you don't know that like, ah babe uh, i bought a house oh, today and we are moving tomorrow that's how a choleric especially a choleric husband they are always active they are thinking so if you're not with them on the same page you might feel left out and that is where you now start feeling he doesn't love me he's not so into me he he doesn't talk to me and all that and all that no you have to get into his head you have to ask him what do you want to do is there any plan what do you if he tells you i want to buy a car you keep asking him okay so how far with the car so what do you want to do you get so you have to come out of yourself so that you will be on the same page with him if not my dear you will just be a sidon look wife or sidon look spouse which is not so good do you get so the cholerics they dissipate so much energy that you have to you don't have to be a choleric you don't have to be an extrovert to be on the same page with them you just have to know how to harness your own power to be on the same page with them what do i mean so with that so much energy try to meet up try to be informed try to be informed okay you're going out okay baby you're going out is there anything you want to do today do you get those kind of things so he's at office of course you know a choleric mind is always thinking he's always bringing up ideas okay baby are you are you okay okay what's up is there anything he said oh nothing I don't know. I don't know. sometimes because they are men they will they tend to get angry because ah, they don't like all those boys, they don't bore them so much. But hey, understand the timing also. When he's happy, you can ask him, okay? When he's happy, you can ask him, okay, baby, what's up? What, what, what do you want to do? So, but avoid when he's worried, okay? Because a choleric can just lash it out on you, especially when he's not able to figure it out. You know, men are always trying to figure things out okay they don't want to feel like a failure so at that point in time he's worried because he does not know how to figure this out so you have to give him a little bit of space and try to understand that why he is being cranky if he is cranky is because he's not able to figure out what he wants to do so you find a way to subtly as a wife as a woman we have that power so subtly come in and make some suggestions suggestions so that brings me to another point you have to have something to bring to the table okay so your husband cannot come home and say okay i want to do this this is i have this business plan and i like okay anything you want to do do he will get tired of you okay there will be a point in time where he will not be telling you things again so no matter how little that thing is impute make an impute okay can we do it like this he might not take your idea but he'll appreciate the fact that you are making an impute so to a choleric husband the fact that how do you want to show him that you love him is to be involved in his business so he might not know that he's not carrying you along but carry yourself along okay so every man generally wants a woman that will bring something to be to the table in it might not be money it might just be ideas okay he's telling you about this thing don't feel don't be reluctant don't trivialize it just put take it up even if you don't have an idea okay so what do you think okay we can do this we can do this let me tell you as a lady you have this natural instinct that is the power god gave in uh, put in us so somehow you just feel that you see yourself feeling that ah, this thing might not work and truly truly it will not work that is the natural power that god has given you so use it so use it. So you might tell your husband who is a choleric that this thing might not work. Say, ah, it might work. Yeah, it will work. Just allow him. Okay. So that's the point. The, the point I'm trying to bring out is that bring things, bring something to the table. When I'm talking about talking and trying to get into his head, I don't mean nagging. Okay. I don't mean nagging. Men don't like to nag. Even me as a lady, I don't love nagging. God, if you are, if you are a nag, ah. I, I, I'll just get tired of you easily. Do you get? So you have to not in a nagging form, 
but just get into his head put something on the table he's telling you okay you get into his head he tells you something and you don't have anything to impute you'll be like ah, ah what a waste do you get you get into his head what do you want to do okay i have a business plan i want to do this i want to do okay okay can we do it this way first of all you should know that it's your wisdom and it's your dimension that attracted him to you so use it that's your power as an introvert that's your power so being introverted is not a weakness being in I'm, I'm married to an introvert oh my god ah like like i almost feel incomplete without him that's the attraction i almost feel incomplete without him so that's how he feels so forget the gara gara forget the energy when you're not there he feels like oh am i making a mistake do i need correction i need someone to i need somewhere to fall back to and that is you so use your power okay so as ladies don't don't get irritated by a choleric and as a waiting lady don't see cholerics as bad people no there's a saying that says every mad person has a friend ah every mad person has a friend though so if you feel that cholerics are mad people be his friend you will see how you will harness that gift he has and bring it to limelight they are the active of most times choleric husbands do things and people don't know that the background the foundation is their wife so be that foundation that holds him you get so it brings me to another point don't you realize their love know this a choleric husband can go extra length just to show you that he loves you Cholerics are not known to jump into one relation, jump from one relationship to the other. They are not known for that. So what they do is if they get a project, they pursue it to the end. So they love you, they pursue you to the end. And if you check so much, they don't have time to do so many to get distracted. So they have their eyes fixed on something. That's why most times it's like it's difficult to communicate to a choleric husband, a choleric spouse, because their eyes are fixed on something. So they don't need distractions. But you should know as a woman how to subtly get into him. So my point, don't trivialize their love. How do I mean? For example, a choleric, since he's a spontaneous person, can go out and be like, ah, okay, my wife will love this gown. Hmm, she will love this gown. And he gets the gown and come home and you're like, I don't like the gown you know you don't like the gown so don't put it to him just tell him thank you wear the gown whether you like it or not wear the gown maybe next time you say ah, babe, i don't really like this color I, I don't like this kind of gown oh, okay oh okay i won't get it next time and really he won't get it next time unlike the sanguines that will forget and go and buy the same thing again he won't get it next time but if you trivialize that gift and throw it one side you do it the first time do it the second time he removes removes his mind and know this that the same way a choleric puts his heart to something is the same way he can remove his mind from that same thing and when he removes it uh it takes the grace of god to bring him back so don't trivialize his love he loves you so don't feel that a choleric your husband does not just care in as much as i understand the fact that cholerics the way they interpret their love is different from the way you might interpret your own love so that is where the communication comes in that's my last point communicate communicate always communicate communicate talk i understand that you're not the uh, uh, um extrovert but you have to talk marriage and relationship the foundation of marriage and relationship is communication so you communicate he might not know how to love you help him to love you okay so you are the type that loves a cozy environment a color my my um this place is too dull i need somewhere that is bubbling tell him okay babe um i really the place is now um uh, rowdy it's noisy i really don't like that place you went to today subtly he picks it just like i said it's not like it's a good i'll forget he picks it and you keep saying it not in a nagging form so whatever you need you have to tell it to him whatever you need you have to tell it to him. if you keep quiet the choleric will, will take it as you are okay with what i'm doing and he keeps doing it so to what extent if you just keep quiet and you're getting hot and getting hot and getting hot and you feel that he's doing it on purpose no he's not doing it on purpose it's because he doesn't know 
is because he doesn't know. So you have to tell it to him. You have to tell him, okay, this and this and this are what I like and what I don't like. Okay, all this point I've said are little things that we can do, do to make our relationship work, especially if you're in a relationship with a choleric person. I mentioned four things. I mentioned communication, learn to communicate, learn to communicate. Most times they don't know what they are doing. So your silence will make them feel that, okay, they are doing the right thing and they keep doing it. They even do it to the extreme and you just feel that they are doing it on purpose. No, they don't know. Cut them some slack cut them some slack okay so communicate secondly bring something to the table bring something to the table so when when they talk about the project have a little input it might not be so much have little input make sure you're saying something make sure you're researching exactly make sure you're researching so they talk about nft today ah go and check what is nft so that you just be on point because the, the 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 other end of this thing is that cholerics and sanguines, the extrovert, they they also are drawn to people with ideas, okay? Especially the cholerics. So that's why you see that in your husband's office, he's drawn to his secretary. You know why? Because his secretary gives him so much. The secretary is is full of knowledge. So when he's confused, he just literally goes to his secretary and she just finds a way out of the whole issue. So you have to be like that. Okay, so when he talks about something that you don't know, quickly make research on those things. So that next time when he's talking about it, you can make your own input. So you will not just be there and be listening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For example, his friends comes around and you they are talking about something you don't have an idea. Find 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 a way, find a way. Okay, that's that for uh, um having something to put in the table. Then don't trivialize his love. Okay, don't trivialize his love. Whatever he does in as much it might not be what you want but don't make him feel appreciated that's the word make him feel appreciated okay baby i love this i love this i love this oh thank you this is beautiful you might not love the thing that he's giving but you love the gesture tell it to him that oh i love the gesture oh but i don't really like yellow color or i don't really like red color okay those are the things that you can say and finally another point i raised was get into his head okay get into his head know what he's thinking know what he's thinking don't sit and wait for a choleric husband to tell you what he's thinking because he will never or he might never say it okay you might just see results you might just be seeing results here and there but to tell you the process they don't have that time do you get they don't or they don't feel it's necessary they just want you to see results. Ah, you bought a car. Wow. To them, the results should make you happy. But they don't know that you need to be in the process. Do you get? Be in the process throughout till the point of the result. Okay. So that's just basically the few things I have to say about handling a choleric spouse on the male end. Okay. So finally, overall, you should learn to pray. Pray. Pray pray so that you will not get hot and you will not walk with your spouse on the basis of being hot okay and if over time you've been hot and you're like ah he he doesn't listen to me he doesn't do the... now you know that it might not be intentional so you have to talk to him so talk to god first in prayers then talk to him you see how god can turn the heart of a man to walk towards you he that's why he's god he can handle the heart of anybody a king anybody to work in your favor okay so that's basically that for today so thank you very much for joining us and uh, you can put your comments in the comment section too how you can deal with a choleric spouse so if you're a choleric husband you can tell us how to deal with 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 you okay and if you're married to a choleric husband and over time you've learned so many things you can help us too and tell us how to deal with our choleric husbands or fiance so thank you so much and god bless you so if this is your first time like i said thank you for joining in thank you for watching us thank you for coming for the first time so you subscribe and hit the notification bell and we keep seeing ourselves every sunday evening by 7 p.m gmt plus one so thank you for joining us today god bless you we'll see you bye